Thank you. Thank you. Mark Selby. Mark Selby gets or just about to get frame five underway. But then they've just realised it's Dave Harrell's turn to break. That is correct. Well, the point of no return now, Dave Harold needs to win the three remaining frames to progress into round three. Brilliant shot. Played it, as you can see, as a shot to nothing. Very good at this kind of where the cue ball is, just in case he missed it. Perfectly on green or blue, but also in a position where, if he had have missed it, would have been relatively safe. Wanted to be straight on this red, and I don't think he is. May have to just brush off the two reds he's nearest to Six. down to the black. Let's just have a little look at the angle if we can. Hmm, not guaranteed to get that kiss right, so should be able to get on the pink regardless. So he's on pink and black now, good shot. Seven. Some strange matches on the main table today. Stephen Maguire against uh, Sam Baird in the opening game. Sam Baird definitely should have won that. Even though Matthew Stevens won 4 2, his opponent Ian Burns just certainly should have been leading at least 3 3 0, 3 1, and end up losing 4 2. And Mark Selby's really just been playing catch up in a lot of the games this afternoon, and now he's got a chance to to win 4-1, so there's been some strange snooker here this afternoon. I think it's been straightforward 15. for the top players.
We'd love to remove that red away from that black swat area Mark Selby as soon as possible, which would free the black up into both corners. But already this is looking like a great opportunity to go on and win the match at this visit for Mark Selby. Still plenty of work to do, but there are still a good few open reds to play with. I call top sportsman Mark Selby very good at closing out matches when he has the opportunity to do so. Doesn't fear the winning line. 22. Well, he got far, far too much action into the cue ball there, Mark. Obviously thought he would be cannoning the cluster in a different manner to the way he did actually cannon them. Wow. That certainly brought an end to this break rather prematurely. Only 29 points to the good. Would have certainly hoped to have made a lot more from that scoring opportunity. Mark Selby, 29. Well, that could potentially be a useful fluke for Mark Selby. Didn't attempt this. Dave Harold was halfway to the table when he realised it was going in. Just refusing the possible green in the middle to play the snooker. Mark Selby. Right. Snooker is God. Pushing the yellow safe as well. Seems a little bit early, but 30 point lead means that virtually Dave Harold is certain to need that yellow at some stage. First glance, I thought he'd completely mishit that, but uh, he looks to have not left anything straightforward. There's a red that's probably available in the middle that just passes the pink. And if it does pass the pink, he's just having a good look, isn't it, to see what it does. He can screw back for the black. It must be on. So this is a shot that could be a match winner. Well played. Excellent shot. These top players do have a way of winning a match quickly, you know, when they get a chance in the final frame. OK, only made 30 at the last visit, but you can't see too much going wrong at this visit.
line. And plan to get onto the red just above the black. That'll open another two reds into play, so he doesn't have to play the cannon into the four reds, unless he doesn't have the the correct angle to get on the one just above it. Looks to be okay to play the little screw shot to hold it. And as I said, in getting rid of this red, he opens another two. Sixteen. Yes, it's difficult to see. Mark Selby failing from here to go on and 17. win the match at this visit. Already 47 points to the good. Just a couple more reds and colours required for a place against my good self in round three on Wednesday. Who's your good self? <laughs> well, don't wish to be self-deprecating. <laughs> Yes, that'd be a good chance to prove yourself against one of the top players, Dom. And now you beat them all in, in your career at one time or another. Yes, I've got a reasonable record against Mark, but of course he's an absolutely incredible player. And uh, if he does go on to win the match here, obviously I'm expecting a very tough encounter, but... One I'll certainly look forward to. How many times have you played him? I think I've played him about three or four times. Um, we're either two all or I'm sort of... Uh, I, one of them, though, was just a, a, a Championship League encounter, which he played so well against me. But in ranking events, I, I may be two one up on him. I'm not sure, but that's not going to make any difference when we play each other. This frame's over now, 70 points in it, with only 67 on. So, Mark could be pretty pleased today, because Dave Howard's put up quite a good oh, test here. He's pinched a frame. This looks like, like a chance of making the highest break for him in this match so far. His highest break up to this stage has only been 52. Got a day off tomorrow, so I don't suppose he'll be going home. Mark, he'll probably be staying up in Wales. Possible chance for sentry with the complete clearance. But yellow to green is going to be very tough. The last red is going to be tough, the one along the cushion. Tried to move it on there, didn't quite work, but he may have second prize. Well, not really, he's not on that 60. either. Tension all pockets. That's the way to do it. 61. Needs the brown and the black off the last red to make a sentry. Good luck. Well, a good match from Dave Howard. I'd be very disappointed to have thrown the fourth frame away and every chance to make it to all. But uh, Mark Selby in the end just proved a little too strong. And it goes into a very easy round, the next round, where he plays my friend Dominic Dell. Mark Selby winning by four frames to one. I was only kidding, Dominic.